So you, yep. you found that experimenting with them, using them, helped you gain a deeper appreciation and understanding of the human condition, human existence, yeah. all that stuff. For sure. Yeah, it helped me understand. Uh, I, I started The way I started explaining it to people is that while we're here talking to each other and in person with each other or like, uh, you know, uh, the concept of the show, sitting around a fire talking, that is a radio station, the way I see it. Like we're listening to 106.5, whatever it may be. And we are able to change that radio station uh, subconsciously or with our consciousness, which is what, uh, how I explain dreams. You know, once you're having these very lucid, very vivid dreams, it's basically you changing the radio station and not actually, you know, if you get a, a, an old school analog radio and you're kind of like, let's say you're trying to get to 106.5 at about 106.3, you're going to start hearing 106.5 is just going to have static and kind of blurry. Uh, that's how I see dreams. Like we're not there. I'm not at the station, but I'm getting, I'm like on my way to that station. And I think we can get to that station if we focus with, you know, meditation and, and breathing techniques and all kinds of other uh, taking care of your body, making sure you're clean and healthy and mm. uh, using your, yourself to, to, to get to that point. Yeah. And I think psychedelic what a cool was, analogy, right? Was the one to, yeah. That's a great, it's a great analogy. Um, yeah. I love that the station being sort of tuned in. I can, I could hear it as you were saying it too. <laughs> yeah, I find that interesting too about psychedelics in my own life is, is it really does sort of peel back the layers and remind you of, you know, how profound life really is. And oftentimes, you know, the profundity of it is really simple, isn't it? It's simple and profound. And I think that often gets overlooked in people's everyday life. We tend to overanalyze all these things. And, uh, you know, I like that you mentioned clean living and meditation. That's also very important. But, you know, for anyone who hasn't tried psychedelics, they can be used as a tool for spirituality, a tool to and, you, you know, there, I know some people have just done it once and they're like, wow, that's good. I, I saw what I saw and I'm good and it changed them. Some people continue to, to seek, you know, um, and I think that that's important to note. It, you know, psychedelics don't have to be you don't have to go down this journey and continue to do them. Sometimes it's just that one time and you tune in. But I totally believe in the power of that. And um, it's changed my life, too, you know, the deeper than anything because it's it's your own personal journey right like i i think that that opens the eye of perception or your third eye as they call it your pineal gland and when that gets tapped into you kind of can't go back from that point right it just everything has flipped on you and you see the world through different eyes and i i love that about psychedelics and about having that mindset you know pushing forward and coming out of your past life seeking for that new one you know mm -hmm.